All you will need for today is a couple of cushions, uh, literally cushions off your sofa, absolutely fine. Make sure you've got some water nearby. We're gonna be stretching quite deeply. So we'll wanna make sure that we've kind of got a little bit of hydration available to us. And also a strap that can be a resistance band, a dressing gown strap, a pair of tights, whatever you've got. Um, it's just to help us increase the intensity on some stretches as well. So we're gonna to start today in a seated cross-legged position. So if you are using the playlist, then please pop it on from the beginning now if you wish to use it. And just heading over to your mat, make sure you've got water nearby, your cushions nearby and your strap nearby before coming into a seated cross-legged position. Now make sure you're feeling nice and comfortable before we get started. Hands come down to the knees. And we're just gonna close those eyes down to begin with for today's class. Slowly breathing in through the nose all together and out through the mouth. We're just gonna take a minute to just work through this breathing routine in through the nose and out through the mouth at your own pace. Just gradually calming the body down from any stresses this week from any stresses you've experienced today. And as you breathe in now, bring those shoulders up to the ears. And as you breathe out, roll them back and down away from you. Taking the breaths at your own pace and really tuning in to what the body needs by keeping those eyes closed down as you go. Keeping it going. Well done, guys. And as you come into this final exhale, slowly blinking the eyes back open as we begin today's stretch. We're going to take the right arm down to the mat. We're going to bring the left arm up and over the head as we come into a deep stretch all the way down that left hand side. Now, as always, if you wanna take this a little bit further, coming down onto the forearm, if you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, bringing the hand closer into you, but aiming to bring the left hand up and over as you come in. Remember, really important to keep the breathing going throughout today's stretches. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done, guys. Coming back into the center, down onto the left arm and up and over onto the right. Dana, if that's a little bit too much for the arm, just bring it onto the lap instead of leaning on it and bring the arm opposite arm up overhead if you can, that's it. Well done. Great work, guys. Taking one final breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and coming back to center. We're gonna take those hands to the back of the head, using one if you need, a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just tipping that chin down to the chest, keeping the shoulders lowered as you apply maybe a little bit of pressure with those fingers and start stretching through the back. Now you wanna imagine that you're taking the shoulder blades apart from one another, as if they're pulling away and down towards the floor. And that's gonna open up those scapula at the back of our shoulders and help to stretch out that muscle. Well done. And slowly raising the head back up to center. We're gonna come across to a tabletop position. Now, while we're here, I'm just gonna show you our recovery stretch for today's class. So at any point, if anything gets too much, just bring yourself down into a child's pose, head to the mat, nice and calm, stretching through that back. And that is gonna be our little recovery stretch today, if you need it. So from our tabletop position, we're just gonna start working through some cat cows. So 
for one side. We're going to tuck the chin, look back towards the legs, arch the back up and bring the tail down to the floor. And for the other direction, we're going to bring that forehead up to the sky, tilt the bum up to the sky and dip that belly button down to the floor. Now we're just going to spend a minute here working through these repetitions at your own pace. You may find that you need more of the cat stretch or you may find you need more of the cow stretch. If you're in one of these positions and you feel a little niggle, try and move perhaps around or side to side to help work into wherever that might be. Ignoring whoever is next to you on the screen, working through this at your own pace, ignoring the pace even I'm going at. And just really carefully working into that lower back, into the shoulders, into the neck and perhaps a little bit into the core as you come through as well. Well done. And after your next stretch, bring the feet together, the knees out wide. We're going to sit back into that child's pose. Now, while we're down here on the floor, once again, just practice that breathing in through the nose out through the mouth and now the idea is we want to sit the sit the bum as far back onto the heels as we can whilst also walking the fingertips away from us and feeling a nice deep stretch through the shoulders through the back and down into the glute as well well done emma nice emily And while you're here, just thinking about the reason for jumping on to today's class. I'm sure there's a reason why you thought it would be beneficial for you to jump in today. Think about that reason. Keep it in your thoughts. And we're going to come back to it at the end of today's class to see if we've achieved what we wanted to. Pulling yourself forwards onto the hands. We're going to come up into an upward dog position. So from the side of the chest, pushing up and through onto the arms. Now, as always, the option here to have the legs narrow or wide, depending on what's more comfortable for you. And starting to add in some rotations, looking over the left shoulder, perhaps over the right shoulder, wherever you might need. Well done, Laura. And when you're ready, tucking the toes, sending the bum up to the sky and coming into our downward dog. Now you may find at this early stage, you need to walk through those legs. That's absolutely fine. If you are walking through, just try each walk to bend a little bit further into those hamstrings. And as we come back into this position, a few times throughout today's class, you'll be able to see how your depth has improved and how that range of motion has improved for you as well. Bringing yourself now, walking the hands into the feet and coming into a forward fold, holding on to the elbows on each side and just slowly swaying from right to left from right to left, a slight bend in those knees, allowing the head to be heavy, allowing the arms and shoulders to be heavy. And together, we're just gonna take 10 seconds to slowly raise all the way from this bent position to standing. The last thing that's going to come up is going to be the shoulders and the head. I'll count us through for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. Well done, just shake off those arms, shake off the legs so far. Grab yourself a sip of water if you need one before we move into our next little section of stretching. Now for these stretches, just make sure that you've got one cushion nearby and also your band as well. We're gonna start off by coming into a forward lunge. So we're gonna come forward with the left leg. Coming into a forward lunge, we're gonna drop the back knee to the floor. Now for comfort, pop your cushion underneath that back knee if you need. If you're on a hardwood floor, you're probably gonna want that cushion under there, but if you're on the carpet, you might be okay. We're gonna start off by taking the hands onto the left thigh and slowly forcing a little bend into that front leg. Now, there shouldn't be a lot of weight going through the hands. They're just there to support. The aim of this is to open up that hip. So you might find that you want the leg to bend forwards. You might find that you want it to go out to the side, or you might even find you want to go round in circles as well, wherever that hip needs to go for you. We're just working in to the hip before we start any stretches there, just to loosen it off a little bit so that we can get the most out of them. Well done, guys. And coming back to our low lunge position, we're gonna grab our band, turning around to your right. We're gonna take the right foot into the right hand and bring it in towards the glute. If that's not quite in your range, then use your band to just loop the foot and help bring that in behind you. Now, as you bring it in behind you, you'll find a deep stretch down the front of that right quad. If you wanna increase the stretch further, just bend into the left knee slightly, and that is gonna help push that stretch a little bit further down the quad. Now, everyone's range of motion is gonna be completely different for these stretches. Some of you might have your leg down here and feel the stretch. Some of you might be able to get it all the way into the glute. I certainly can't today, I'm very tight. <laughs> but wherever you are feeling that stretch is perfect for your body. If you need some support, feel free to hold on to a chair or the sofa or something nearby. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And perhaps starting to add a few bounces or pulses in to help you go a little bit deeper now. Whether that's letting go of the leg slightly and then bring it back, or whether that's bending into the hip a little bit more. Great work, guys. Well done. Now we're going to be holding these stretches today for quite a long time on each side. We were looking for deep stretching that's really going to help iron through those muscles and loosen them off for the next week. And when you're ready, we're just gonna lower that right foot back down towards the floor, letting go of your band. We're gonna sit back onto the right leg. So you're gonna come back onto the right leg, stretch the left leg out and fold yourself over that left leg, coming into a nice deep stretch down the back of the hamstring. Now, if you need, grab your second pillow and use that to elevate the hands up if you can't quite reach the floor. If you can reach the floor, it doesn't matter if that's with your fingertips or with your full hand, wherever you need. And as we work into that hamstring, have a look at your toes and where they're pointing. Now, if they're pointing away from you, that's where we're having the least stretch in our hamstring. If they're pointing up towards your forehead, that's where we'll have the most stretch going through. So if you want to increase the depth of this stretch, simply flex the foot a little bit more, bringing it closer towards the forehead. And if it gets a little bit too much for you, simply flex the foot away from you as well. Nice. And start lowering yourself a little bit further if you can, as the stretch deepens. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose and using every exhale to just push a little bit more into that stretch. Well done. Great work, guys. 
and carefully bringing yourself back up onto the right leg. We're gonna move once again into our low lunge position. Once again, gonna turn around to the right, looping our back leg or picking it up with our hand and coming back into our quad stretch again on that side. Now, the reason for repeating our stretches is to get a maximum effect from them. You should find in this second round that you already have a little bit more mobility than you did the first time. So by spending a little bit more time working into this muscle, we can just loosen it off even more. Feel free to add in those pulses in a bend or by loosening and then increasing the distance of the foot, whatever feels right for you. Well done. Nice work, Emily. And as you bend in, see if there's anywhere you can feel that's got specific, specifically feeling achy. Perhaps it's the outside of the thigh, maybe it's the inner thigh, maybe it's the top of the knee or the hip. And if there's anywhere specific you can feel, drop me a message after the class and we'll work some stretches through for you that will help ease that off. And in three, two, one, dropping that back leg down, coming back onto the right knee, onto the left ankle, and bending over that front leg again as we come back into our hamstring stretch. This time, see if you can start from where you left off. So wherever the foot positioning was, the toes, were they pointed away? Were they pointed up to the sky or back towards the forehead? And remember with every exhale, it's an opportunity to deepen the stretch. Opportunity to take it a little bit further. We shouldn't be taking it as far as to be in pain, but it should feel like a little bit of a, oh, that's definitely something there. And as you breathe away, it should loosen off. Last few breaths here, so last chance to increase that stretch any further. And in five, in four, in three, in two, and one, rising up, bringing the left knee to the cushion, stepping the right leg forward now into our low lunge, and just starting to work through opening up that right hip this time. So pulsing in, circling around, pulsing out to the side, whichever you feel you need, and just starting to open up that joint. Now these hip circles are actually really great for pre-run. They're a good mobility exercise for before you head out on your runs as well. So a nice one to remember for future as well. If you've had a long day sat down at a desk and you're feeling quite tight, just getting up from your desk, even if it's once every couple of hours and working through a few mobility things like this can really help. And we're gonna start now on the left leg. So turning around to the left hand side and either using your band or your hand to bring that leg up near to the glute and entering our quad stretch. So you should feel this nicely from the hip down to the knee on the front of the left leg. Now, as before, our options to increase the stretch are either to pulse that leg backwards and forwards or to bend into that right leg a little bit more. If you need to grab onto something to support, that's absolutely fine. If you didn't use a band on the other side, but you need to on this side, again, that's absolutely fine. We have different ranges of mobility in both sides of the body. So we can always expect things to be a little bit different. Well done, guys. If you need to use both hands as well and have the balance to do so, then that's absolutely fine. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you need to let go and reset at any point, that's absolutely fine. And in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna 
bring that left leg down, sit back onto the leg, tip the right toes up and fold over into our right hamstring stretch. Now remember we haven't stretched out this leg on the hamstring yet, so it's probably gonna feel a little bit tighter than the left one did when we left off, but that's okay. Remember our options here, we can be up on our finger toes, uh, fingertips, finger toes, fingertips, <laughs> or we can have our cushion if we need a bit more height. We can be down on our four, four hands, and you can increase or decrease the level of stretch by pointing or flexing the toes. Flexing them towards you, increasing the stretch and pointing them away, decreasing the stretch. I'm gonna come check, we're all okay. Well done, guys. Nice work, Dana. Nice, Emma. Well done, Ellie. Great work, guys. Keeping it here for another five, another four, three, two, and one. Coming back through into our half kneeling position and coming back around to the left hand side, looping your band if you need, if not using your hand and bringing that foot one last time into the glute. And from here, just working through whatever you need in terms of stretching this a little bit further than last time. So either pulsing forwards and holding a little bit deeper or maybe even going further than that with a few pulses or letting go and then bringing it back Whichever works for you is completely fine, as long as you're feeling that nice stretch from the front of the quad. And remember, if you're having any issues with stability, just hold on to something nearby. Well done. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth as you increase the stretch. And in five, in four, in three, two, and one. Coming back up onto the left leg, back onto the knee and folding through into that hamstring stretch one last time. Remembering again, that this is our last opportunity in this position to increase the stretch a little bit, whether that's flexing the foot more, whether that's leaning forwards a little bit more lowering the position of the hands from the cushion to the floor, whatever works for you. Nice deep breath in and out. In and out. Try and keep those shoulders relaxed. Try not to cause any tension anywhere else in the body. Keep the fingers light if you are using them. And together, we're just gonna take two more breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done, sitting back up, bringing that right leg behind, remove your cushion out. Bring the knees nice and wide and coming back down into our child's pose. One more time. Remember the focus of our child's pose being to sit the bum as far back as we can, whilst also stretching those fingertips away from us. Keeping the shoulders down. And just resetting ourselves, ready for the next little part of our flow. If you need a little drink of water, now is a really good time to grab that before we go into our next little bit. Nice guys, when you're ready, tucking the toes, sending the bum up to the sky and coming into our downward dog again. Walking through the feet if you need, or perhaps the heels can now reach the floor by themselves, nice and comfortably. We're not gonna be staying here for too long. Just a little moment here. We're now gonna step that left leg through the middle to the center. 
the left knee is going to come out to the left hand side of the mat, the right foot over to the right hand side of the mat, stretching the right leg behind us. We're going to lower down into our pigeon. Now you can either stay up on the hands or perhaps you want to come down onto the forearms. Maybe you need a little cushion in the gap. That's absolutely fine. Wherever's comfortable for you, even if you want to bring your head all the way lower, you should be feeling a nice deep stretch through the side of the hip and into the glute here. If you've got a nice big puffy cushion, you can just have a little nap on it. We're going to be holding this one for just over a minute. Do you feel any tension building up in the joint? If you feel like you're holding on to something in that hip, just try and take a nice deep sigh out and let it go, melting into the stretch a little bit more. Perhaps it helps to close those eyes down. And remember, you can move up back onto the hands or down a little further whenever it's comfortable for you. Perhaps a little sway from side to side. Just breathing through the stretch as we release that hip off. Well done, guys. And in five, in four, three, two, and one, bringing ourselves back onto the hands if we were down on the forearms, tucking the toes on the right leg, bringing the left leg to meet, back into our downward dog. Pedaling through the feet just quickly before stepping the right leg through, bringing the right knee to the right hand side of the mat and the left, the right foot, sorry, over to the left of the mat and coming into our pigeon on the opposite side now. As I said, throughout a lot of our stretches, you may find one side tighter or looser than the other. Working from the hands, come down to wherever feels comfortable for you. Perhaps it's all the way onto the floor. Maybe it's onto a cushion between yourself and the floor. And once again, we're gonna stay here for a little while Breathing in and out through the tension in that hip. And refocusing our thoughts back to that reason I asked you to think about earlier. Why you jumped on today's class. Think back to that reason now and refocus your thoughts. Breathing in and out. If you need to come up onto the arms at any point, that's absolutely fine. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing ourselves back onto the foot, onto the hands. If you lowered down. Tucking the left toe, bringing the right back to meet into our downward dog again. And then quickly, we're going to walk the hands into the feet, holding on to the elbows again and coming into our heavy forward fold. With a little bit of a bend in those knees. This time, I want you to bring the feet, heel toe them all the way together. So they're side by side, touching one another. It's going to feel a little bit deeper than it did when they're further apart. No problem with keeping a little bend in those knees. Perhaps you do want to try and reach the floor, flop a little bit further. That's fine. Or stay holding on to the elbows, whichever you prefer. And together, once again, we're going to take a really slow raise all the way up to standing. Taking 10 seconds, I'll count us through 
together, starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, back down, stepping the feet out a little bit wider and shake everything off just a little bit from that section of our stretching. Grab yourself a sip of water if you need at this point. And when you're ready, we're gonna meet down on the floor with our cushion at the top of the mat and lying down on our backs. Just make sure you have got your strap nearby and also a cushion nearby as well. Lying down onto the back, just get yourself nice and comfy. I don't mind to start with whether your feet are flat to the floor, your legs are bent, they're out to the side, whatever feels comfortable for you to start with. And we're just gonna quickly recenter ourselves here. So wherever you are, close your eyes down. One hand on the belly, one hand up on the chest. And with those eyes closed, we're just gonna take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. <sighs> and on the next one, as you sigh away, I want you to imagine the whole body sinking into the floor away from you. Nice deep breath in and out, <sighs> sinking away. Two more breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And when you're ready, we're just gonna flatten those legs to the floor now, if they weren't already. Interlacing the fingers, we're gonna take the hands up and over the head, pointing our toes, we're gonna stretch every single little bit of the body, tensing everything, the glutes, the thighs, everywhere. And in three, two, one, let it all go and sink away from you. One more deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done. Bringing the right leg up to a bent position with the foot flat on the floor. We're gonna bring the left leg across the right leg so that the ankle rests just above the knee. When you're ready, we're gonna reach the hands through the gap in front of us and either taking a hold of the back of the hamstring or the shin, we're gonna bring that leg in towards us into a nice deep stretch through the left glute and hip. Maybe you're feeling it in the inner thigh as well. If it's slightly uncomfortable on the bum, then feel free to slide a little cushion underneath your bum as well if you need. And with every breath, just using that exhale to bring it a little bit closer in. Perhaps you feel like you've stretched it as far as you can. Try taking the left hand and putting a gentle bit of pressure onto the left knee and pushing it away from you. That's just gonna increase that stretch a little bit more if you'd like. Whilst we're in these lying stretches, I encourage you to close your eyes down and really try to tune in to the body and use my voice as a guide for this final bit of our class. Lowering the right leg back to the floor with the knee bent. You're gonna take your left leg out in front of you, taking the hands around the leg or using your strap to loop the foot. We're gonna bring it up with a slight bend in the knee and start bending into and stretching into that hamstring, feeling a nice deep stretch down the back of the leg. If you wish to lower the right leg to the floor instead of having it bent, that's absolutely fine that's gonna make the stretch a little bit more intense for you. Having the leg bent will make it a little bit easier. And as we're here, 
just slowly using your band or your dressing gown or your tights to pull the leg a little bit closer in. Don't worry if you've got the shakes a little bit, that's fine. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one, loosening that band off, bringing both legs to the floor, feet flat, knees bent, taking our hands around the legs. We're just gonna cuddle them in, give ourselves a nice hug and just roll from side to side, massaging out through the back, nice and slowly. Well done. Looking great, Emily. Coming back to center, lowering the feet to the floor with the knees bent once more. The left leg is gonna stay there while we cross the right leg up and onto the thigh, slowly reaching through the gap and taking a hold either of the back of the hamstring or of the shin as we move into our glute and hip stretch on the right hand side this time. Remember, nice deep breathing. If you can feel yourself holding tension anywhere, try to release it now. An option, of course, to use the right hand to apply a little bit of pressure to the right knee and push it away from you a bit, if you wish, just to increase the stretch a little bit further. But no problem if you're happy where you are. Just using every exhale deepen it a little bit or to relax a little bit. Well done. And in five, four, three, two, and one, lowering that left foot down to the floor, grabbing your band, wrapping the right foot and stretching it away from you. If you don't have a band, just use the hands around the back of the shin instead. A slight bend in the knee as we start to stretch through that hamstring once more. Remember option to lower the left leg or keep it bent, whichever you're more comfortable with. And as we enter this stretch, just gradually increasing how much resistance we're taking from the band. Gradually bringing that leg a little bit further and a little bit deeper into our stretch. Deep breaths in and out. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Unlooping our band. Bring both feet to the floor, knees bent. Bringing the hands around the legs, bring them into the chest. Give them a big hug and just rock from side to side once again. Massaging any little niggles out from the back. And once again, just thinking back to that reason why you joined this afternoon. Rocking from side to side. And on your next rock, bringing yourself to center and giving yourself an even bigger squeeze, 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 squeeze those legs into the chest. And in five, four, Three, two, and one. Pointing the feet away from us, interlacing the fingers and taking them up overhead. We're gonna stretch again every single little bit, tensing the bum, tensing the thighs, tensing the calves, 
absolutely everything. Hold, 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 hold. Holding, and in five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Melting down to that mat for the final time. Now we're just gonna spend our final few minutes today taking some time for ourselves. So find yourself a comfortable position. Maybe you want the knees bent, maybe you want them out to the sides, maybe you want them flat to the floor, wherever you would like the legs. And then bringing either both hands to your belly or one hand to the chest and one to the belly. Closing those eyes down, we're just gonna take about a minute here for you to completely zone out. Forget about your day, your week, your month, your year. And just focus on yourself and listen to your breathing. And I'll come back when it's time to come out of our personal space. Now, if you'd like to stay here for longer, please feel free to just keep those eyes closed and stay in your calming position. If you're ready to round off today's class, then listen to my voice to follow the next steps. Keeping those eyes closed, bring the knees back together, feet flat to the floor and bring them over now, the knees over to one side, rolling onto the side of the body tucking the hands and using them as a pillow or using your actual pillow as we come into a fetal position on the side. And if you feel ready to take the next step, popping the hands down to the side, keeping the eyes closed and using them to push you up to a seated cross-legged position. Try and cross the legs the opposite way to the way that you normally would this time bringing the hands down to the knees. Just roll the shoulders up to the ears and slowly back and down. Up to the ears once more, slowly back and down. And all together, we're just going to take one final deep breath in through the nose and a big sigh. Bring the hands up to the eyes, covering the eyes, and slowly blink the eyes open if you're ready. And then slowly pulling the hands away and allowing the light to re-enter. Well done, guys. I'll come on over. Grab yourself a sip of water. We worked through some really deep stretching, so you might feel a little bit dehydrated for a bit, but just try and quench that thirst. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, guys. Apologies, I think we just had an issue with the recording, but I'm just gonna re-record this little end bit for anyone who is catching up on demand. So thank you so much for joining. It was lovely to take you through a little stretch this evening. I hope you're feeling really nice and zen now. Next week, we'll be back at the same time for stretching for runners. Week after, we'll be taking a little break. Coming up next week as well, we've also got our usual strength for runners classes. So if you're looking for strength either on Tuesday or Thursday or both, then make sure to get booked in for those. They are now at 6.15 on both days and they are bookable with the credits that you've already got from stretching as well. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. If you've got any feedback on today's class, then do just pop me an email over and I will get back to any of your questions as quickly as possible. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I really hope to see you in a class soon. Thanks guys, bye. Bye.